Hey there, Rivet family. Happy Thursday. Going on the longer side today with our workout. Anywhere from probably 15 to maybe 25 minutes. As you can see, we're doing four rounds. Um, 400 meter run, 200 meter sandbag run, and 10 power snatches. Um, each round starts at 400 meters. Hopefully we're keeping that to about two minutes or so. Then we're going on a weighted run, right? We're gonna pick a sandbag, throw it over our shoulder. You can carry it however you want, run 200 meters. The emphasis on the word run there. Sandbag should not be so heavy that you cannot run the 200 meters, right? If you have to stop, walk, and take a break, it's too heavy. So we want something that's, you know, got some solid weight to it, but something you can run the full 200 meters with. Then we come back inside, we're gonna go 10 power snatches. So only 10 reps on the power snatches today. So we're going, looking to go a little bit heavier. For our crossfitters, we're probably gonna be going 10 quick singles uh, with good form and technique, of course. And then same thing for our fit 30, fit 45 athletes. We're gonna go a heavy dumbbell, five on each side, switching hands each rep, each, uh, each rep, 10 reps total. Um, so yeah, focus today, I'll show you. We're gonna do a couple of banded drills in class today, working on hips, working on uh, what we're doing with our bodies and our two movements, the power snatch and our runs. So first off, we're gonna do two banded drills. For the power snatch, whether it's a dumbbell or a marbell, we're always focusing on keeping the weight nice and close to the body as it goes up, right? As opposed to letting the weight swing out away from the body. This is really common with dumbbell or barbell, right? We've got to come up and then swing that weight away. This usually is a sign that our lats are not fully engaged, our back is not tight. Um, we're not keeping the bar close. So in class today, we're going to do a little banded drill here. We're going to do some uh, banded snatch grip deadlifts. This looks like this, right? The band around. Basically, the band's going to want to pull the bar away from me, right? What this does is actually forces you to engage your lats and your back to keep that weight nice and close to the body. So in class today, we're going to work on doing some snatch grip deadlifts. This is pretty tough to do. You can feel your lats are firing up. This applies to both dumbbell and barbell. Right? This helps us keep all that engaged. We'll do something with the bands, then we'll do something without the bands, ideally, so we follow through, right? Keep that bar, keep that weight nice and close to the body. And then with our running drill today, I often talk about using our body weight, using the lean or the fall, if you will, to help pull ourselves forward when we run. You know, so we're not just pushing ourselves forward, we're actually using gravity to help pull ourselves forward keeping our feet directly underneath our body as we run. To get a feel for that in class today, we're gonna to do a banded running drill. So we're actually going to get into that same band we just used. We're gonna use it in the opposite direction. So what happens here is this band is actually pulling my hips back. Obviously I don't wanna run like this, but I do wanna run with my hips forward. So what this does is it allows me to feel the lean a little bit and keep those hips driving forward. Because so when we run, like I said, we want to use our body weight to pull ourselves forward, and most of that body weight should come from the hips. Not up here at the shoulders, but hips forward. So, what we're going to do is we're just kind of try some running drills. So, I'm leaning, I'm keeping my feet directly underneath my center of mass, knees are soft, and I'm staying mostly on the balls of the feet, although the heels are kissing the ground each time. So, this is a good, gentle way to run. Feet underneath the body, soft knees, with a little bit of a lean. Then same thing as the power snatch drill. We'll go ahead and lose the band if you can get out of it. And we'll try the same thing here. We'll try a couple of these kind of running drills inside. And ideally, we're using that same lean, hips forward, feet directly underneath the body. All right, those will be our drills in class today to help you uh, move through this workout more efficiently. Um, that's all I got for you today. Have fun with this one, guys. It's a good workout. Get it done, have fun. Talk to you tomorrow.